I made a couple of videos about Dame, so-called Dame, Olivia newton Yeah, um, okay. If you see my videos, you probably understand that I am not a fan of man-made fabrications. So when somebody says to me, do we have royal blood? There is no such thing as royal blood. Doesn't mean you're connected somehow to... Well, why don't you be your own royal person? Why do you... Does your self-image have to depend on uh, a connection to something that isn't... I don't know, very few of you seem to understand it, and I think ego has a lot to do with it, that people want to be more than they are. People want to be more, people want to be more than they actually accomplished. I think that's what it is. They want to be more than they have actually accomplished. They want to be proud of being gay. They want to be proud of being white. They want to be proud of being Irish. They want to be proud of being who knows what. Just proud of being. I am this. I am that. It doesn't matter how much a fuck up I am in life, but I'm still that. Guess what? Because this cannot be changed by my poor decision-making. So when I talk about certain people in an elevated sense, there are two potential reasons for that. And one can easily be that for whatever reason, out of all the celebrities I was bombarded with in my childhood, certain ones stood out to this day. Elton John, by the way, is one of them. Why? I have no idea. Even in the years where he was not successful, commercially speaking. Uh, and by the way, I'm 53 almost, so I remember when he was on a Muppet show. Okay, that's how I met, met Elton John. When he was singing with Miss, Miss Piggy. And he came out and his, he dropped for a little bit and then he came back in full force. And I saw him live in 89 with my mom. It was a very famous concert in Verona, Italy. I believe it was a couple of weeks after I saw him in Frankfurt. The same concert, but the Frankfurt audience was fucking, I mean, was lame and uh, in Verona they brought it back to life and that is uh, also the drummer I forgot his name Sugarfoot that's his nickname Sugarfoot he was Michael Jackson's drummer he toured with Elton and he was the <laughs> instrumentals were the best when I talk about Phil Collins and Genesis, yes, Phil Collins is my favorite musician, but that doesn't mean I like every solo song of his. But the instrumentals of Genesis, where Phil is on the drums, it is beyond intense. It's far beyond the fabrication of a formula kind of song. And um, Elton John also produced, in 1988, Rumors by Olivia Newton-John. It was supposed to be her comeback song. And that probably was my favorite song of the whole year, except it didn't chart at all. In Europe, she had a lot of in, uh, appearances because she was still Olivia Newton-John. Uh, elusive person, right? Because 
let's face it, American celebrities, she is Australian, but she's American. Her celebrity came up in, in America. Uh, she's American. A celebrity in America. She's a Hollywood figure. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, they don't come. They didn't come to Europe unless they, uh, their career was going down. You know, when people say, "Why Jerry Lewis? Why was he so famous in France?" Well, because in the '60s he made a lot of flops after the Nadi Professor, and he had a hard time financing his movies. So then he decided, oh, let me see, let me go to Europe. He was dissing Germany, rightfully, a lot before, and then he came to appear on German TV shows, right? And he went to France, he went all over the place, and he got the funding for some real shitty movies. And Jerry Lewis is my all-time favorite comedian. Uh, Stan, yeah, Jerry Lewis is my, he is, uh, look, his personal life, his, it's, it's really weird for me when, I, and he's, it was really weird for me to see appearances on TV shows where he advocated hitting children, beating children, or chastising, or reprimanding physically, whatever you want to call it. Really strange. But I know he made a difference in my life from very far away. He's one of these intuitive comedians who really was, uh, yeah, he did something, man. So Elton John produced this Oliver Newton John video, right? And I love that song. But people had discophobia at the time. The Bee Gees, until the, in the early and mid 80s, were not able to chart at all on their own. They wrote a ton of hit songs for other people. But it's the weird thing where everybody in the 70s was fascinated with disco. Even the shitty disco songs made it, right? And then all of a sudden, 1980, or whenever it was, they burned all the records, and it wasn't cool to be disco anymore. So people were afraid to admit that they actually liked music. There was disco. Nile Rodgers came back in the 2010s as a solo artist, or in combination with... No, he was a solo artist, even though he's a guitarist and not a singer, but he came back many years later after producing a ton of hit songs. Madonna, David Bowie, all of these people, right? So I remember the disc of all oh, Olivia Newton-John, she's disco, man. Well, John Travolta came back, but he had to change his image. And he did very, very well doing so, you know? But uh, it was really weird for me because I thought I've never played with I I never, I see the peanut galleries and the thing is that the peanut galleries were dominant because they outnumbered the ones in the front and they silenced with noise. So Olivia did really well. I'm not here, advo I'm fighting for nobody. I have no dog in this fight. But I want to mention that her grandfather was Max Born a German-Jewish uh, physicist who won the Nobel Prize. Max Born also was a pioneer in quantum physics. So I will probably leave you guys with some links in the description of this video. Uh, when it comes to quantum physics, yes, it's very exciting to hear the theories but the actual formulas and the actual, uh, and I studied physics. Uh, I will create a page on my blog about it, not a post. It'll be a page that will grow continually.
and it means that I will not force myself to make a quick post with a nice title. It means that I will accumulate whatever it is that I'm actually researching to share with you guys. I will make a simple blog post about it in the next few days and then have a link, like an embedded link, to the master post. This master post will be there for those of you who are interested in more information, who want to learn a little more about quantum physics. So if you are interested in it, um, leave me a comment on the blog post. Leave me something you've been reading. Leave me something that you are actually interested in. Leave me something that you have been inspired by. Don't hold back. If you don't, if you are very new and you don't want to, well, and you, you know my Twitter account. Twitter is probably the one place where I uh, read things from random people. So you can message me or tweet me at Rhesus Negatives or Firetown or Date by Type and I will probably read it. And you need to explain to me why whatever you sent me is interesting to you. Because the last thing I want to do is bore my readers.